Hey, I'm Corkbulb, and welcome back to the Escapist. And tonight, I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of San Pancho on day two. So, the first day uh, went pretty good. I got a lot of money, and um, I was able to make a flimsy shovel, and I dug one space under my desk already. Um, before you worry about keys, or the generator, or anything like that, you need to dig the tunnel up to the electric fence. There is an electric fence above and below ground. Right here you can see it. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks away. So I'm going to need like five timber braces. Um, and we need a better shovel. Um, before we worry about getting out of your cell or the generator, you need to dig your tunnel up the electric fence. Let's see what these guys got. Oh, he's got duct tape. Let's give him an area barrel. And we'll buy the duct tape. Okay, very good. So now if we get a metal sheet, we can buy, uh, we can uh, make a lightweight jump. So right now, we're going to focus on, oh, just shower block. Right now, we're not going to focus too much on the keys. Oh, I didn't see the cell shakedown, so I did it again. Oh my god. I always do that. I get too uh, focused up on... Uh, do I have any distractions at breakfast? No. I get too uh, excited about the uh, guys selling stuff and uh, don't see who the shakedowns are. <laughs> anyway, uh, not really that much of a problem. Well, I'm not that, that much of a problem. I have uh, don't have that much contraband. Six items. It's good. And in San Pancho, there are no metal detectors anyway. So you know anywhere. So you don't have to worry about a um, foil or a contraband pouch, or a going to routines or anything like that. Anyway, let's search some desks. Here's another cup. I'm actually going to take that, because we're going to need to make two cups of molten chocolate for two different guards to get their keys. Alright. So let's just go to breakfast. I don't have a distraction at breakfast. We'll go to breakfast and uh, wait for the guards to search my cell. I didn't see who the shakedowns were. That's really stupid of me. It's Officer Rodney and Officer Shelby are the guards we need. Officer Shelby has the uh, yellow key. He's the, uh, the cell key. That's the guy who does roll call. And he's the first officer in your roster, the character creation sheet. And then Officer Rodney will have the orange um, utility key, which we need to get right up here. But that's later. First, you have to dig your tunnel up to the electric fence. And then once you dig your tunnel up to the electric fence and you're ready to cut it... Oh, these are the same guys. Uh, that's... Do it exercise period. Perfect. I love it when people have the same distraction at the same time. Because you uh, do the distraction once and you get paid twice. Next breakfast. Well, I just missed that. No, we'll keep that maybe. Um, I explain. Oh, crap! I'm being beat up. No! I do not want to be beat up. Leave me alone. He would have searched my desk by now. So, ah! Did he stop coming after me? Okay. I, I don't think they called me. But I just, 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 just to be safe. Um, I don't take his outfit. We're gonna need to make a guard outfit. You really don't have to make a guard outfit. It's not imperative in uh, this prison. But, um, like any prison, having a guard outfit helps a lot with the escape. And we certainly don't need to worry about it right now. Right now, the first couple days, your priority is to get timber together. Ooh, we got a double weed. To get his mo- Ooh, did I, did I triple or did I finish that? No, I walked away before it. Oh, it is a triple. <laughs> Alright, done already. See, gardening gardening's a default job, and it's extremely easy. And it's twice a day, so you get actually $30 a day from working. Wait, let me check him. Oh, he's got a sheet of metal. I'm going to buy that. That <laughs> same guy that got knocked out before. And we are going to make a lightweight shovel. Um, I don't know if I have enough intellect to make it. We'll get it up to 50, and then uh, just to be sure. Um, you have to focus on getting timber together because you need to make an extremely long, epic tunnel in San Pancho in order to escape. Now, I didn't explain the way, the, in the last video, I didn't explain the way the mines work underground. Um, you'll see them when you're underground and you get up to them. They'll displace a dirt block and you'll see them. They're like a, a silver disc with a red and green flashing light in the center. And if you dig a dirt tile up to them and walk onto them, they'll explode in the underground layer, which is not good. So you got to be very careful if you dig around them. 
and um, you're under the ground. However, if you're above ground and you don't see them. There we go. Oh, I need five. God damn it. I thought I had enough. I thought I thought 50 was the... Uh, I guess it's 60 for a lot, for lightweight. Anyway, um... If you step on a, 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 a block on ground within three spaces of a mine underground, it explodes and kills you instantly. You, you can't you can't avoid it. So you can't actually escape on the above ground. I think that to the south, the very south, this should be enough now. There we go. And this is a good time to actually um, dig because you can only dig during routines where the inmates are in one spot. Like, um, breakfast, evening meal, exercise, and, uh... Ooh, he's got duct tape. I don't need it yet. I want to close the distraction in the exercise period. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, alright. Stop me out. It's fine. It's better that way. Because <laughs> I want to go dig a tunnel. Um, the inmates... Let's pick it up. And, oop. And let's dig. We want to dig to the left. And we're going to use our lightweight shovel. Let's hope we don't get a boulder. Ah, uh, we don't. Alright, let's drop that. We're actually drop, right-click to drop the shovel in the, um, the tunnel. So we have one less contraband item in our tunnel. Uh, as for the dirt block, uh, the dirt, you could flush it down the toilet, but I just put it in the unoccupied <laughs> desk. See, my dirt that I dug originally is gone. Uh, and now let's search desks. We want to get, ooh, burrito. You can give that to inmates to increase their opinion. Oh, we gotta be very careful with who's de ooh, there's a file. With whose desks we're searching. Right, three files. That's good. And let's put the um, outfit back. If you start, if you click on someone's desk and you're searching their desk, oh, there's a lighter. We'll need a lot of lighters because we need to make two keys. Uh, if you search somebody's desk and they come in and see you in there searching their desk, oh, perfect. Nice. Good thing I didn't buy that duct tape. I had exercise buried because I don't need it now. Uh, if they see you, if an inmate sees you searching their desk, they'll whoop the shit out of you. Oh, too perfect, man. Too perfect. What do you got, buddy? Bar of chocolate? Hey, you know what? Um, nah, we'll skip that. Because I can find that item in inmates' desks. And I'd much rather uh, save it for duct tape. Alright, so let's make a tool handle to kind of, um... Perfect. Let's make a tool handle to kind of condense contraband items. And then you know what? We're actually going to make a timber brace. Because um, in order to dig your tunnel more than three spaces, you have to place a timber brace. And then you have to place a timber brace every third space, which comes out to every other space. I'll explain in the last video. So you dig a tunnel three spaces, and in order to dig a fourth space, you have to put a timber brace down, and then you can dig a fourth space. And then you can dig another two spaces, but when you get up to the fifth space, in order to dig a sixth space, you got to put a timber brace down. I'll show you guys if I dig my tunnel far enough um, uh, later. Um, so actually, we want to go... Ooh, is he selling... He's got a crowbar. I totally want that because I want a pickaxe. Um, do I have anything to give to him? Yes, I have a magazine. Damn. Uh, it's not going to be enough, though. Shit. Hey. Alright, if I can get his opinion down a little bit more, we'll be able to buy the Krober. See, I'm giving him crap to lower the price. See, now it's 93. I'm just trying to find anything. Alright, something good. Come on. Alright, here we go. This should be enough. Where'd he go? Cameron. Cameron. Oh, please don't tell me he switched. They switched. Crap. Yeah, he switched. Damn! I was trying to buy the Krover! Uh, let's see if Tobias has it. Nope. Of course not. Ha <laughs> ha! Great! Alright. Well, that sucked. Officer Gary. No, I'm not thinking of an officer. So it's Tobias. Let's see who else. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's read. So the only times you can actually dig in your tunnel, in your desk, is um, at routines where guards show up. Like um, so, not work period, not free time. 
Um, guards don't patrol the prison or the cells uh, at any time. But if an inmate inmates wander in your cell during free time and work period, and if they see the hole under your desk, they'll squeal and they'll say, guards, guards, he's escaping, whatever, if his opinion is low of you. If you actually have a high enough opinion, the prisoner won't say anything. He won't squeal on you. But, it's only day two, and you have to get every prisoner to have a good opinion of you. And, um, even if you get a prisoner's opinion up, oh, perfect, and it's evening meal time. Even if you get a prisoner's opinion of you up, it doesn't actually mean anything because it slowly resets down to the prison's baseline. Each prison has a baseline, and in San Pancho, it's 30. Yeah, we'll do that. Do I have to do evening meal? I don't. So we're actually going to show up for evening meal. Uh, this is the time to dig in our tunnel. I'm going to grab some food. I'm going to sit down, eat a little bit. And then we're going to go and dig. Let me equip the baseball bat. Um, let me take a timber brace. Right, drop the desk. Pick that up. And we're going to use our lightweight shovel to dig. I should be able to dig one more space. See, now I dig a third space. If I try to dig, it says you're... Oh, my inventory is full. But if I try to dig, it says you need a timber brace. So let's pick up the brace and drop it there. You just have to set it down. Um, click on the brace. Like, I clicked on the ladder and then click on the, 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 the dirt space, the open space in the tunnel to place a timber brace. So now, I have three spaces in my tunnel. And dirt. <laughs> Which isn't really a problem. Bentley, is that the same guy as before? No, it's actually, they, they changed. Alright, so let me open the unoccupied desk and put my dirt in there. And let me search these guys' desks. I don't think I searched these desks. Oh, I did, I did, I did. I actually do our gardening job. It's really quick to do the gardening job, because, um, and it's really easy. Because there's only a, um, certain number of places that the weeds spawn and the prison's very small. Nick, what do you got? I'm not good. I'm looking for a crowbar or duct tape. We need a lot of duct tape to escape. Ultimately, we want to make a multi-tool. So we can dig really, really fast and really easily. And one more. Here we go. Um, like I said before, if an inmate catches you searching in his desk, you get busted. I'm just going to grab this ship and just give it away immediately. Just to raise their opinion. Alright, Micah. That actually hover over the... Uh, See, there comes Micah. Here, I'll actually give him his chicken back. There you go. <laughs> Brag, that's actually one of my... Uh, Meh. And Hank. Burrito. You can give that to inmates to increase their opinion of you. Which will uh, decrease... Um, it'll decrease the price they sell stuff for. So I really wanted a Krober, but it's not really that big of a deal because it is really early in the... Uh, Nick. So Nick's in here. I don't want to actually... Uh, search the desk. There we go. I searched these desks already. Let's take a plunger. Just in case. Fight! 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 Damn, they're really strong in this prison. And there's a magazine, we'll take that. And let's give it to our, um, Cameron... or Frag, yeah. Not here. Damn it. Not oh, mad. Anyway. Oh, I was gonna get rid of that, too. Um, we need to knock out two guards. Um, but I don't want to make too much cotton man, so I don't want to make the molten chocolate or the um, putty yet Because I'm gonna have too much cotton man items in my desk. I already have way too many items in my desk <laughs> um, Let's get our intellect up so I can make a better shovel Because you gotta dig. You gotta dig. You gotta dig. You gotta dig. You need to dig like I think you gotta dig all the way to the wall Otherwise, you'll trip the landmines on ground layer at evening meal, well, actually, um, actually, we did evening meal already. So the next time I'd be able to dig a shower block, but that's really risky because it's right here next to it. Yeah. Do I have to do distraction in the shower block? Yes, I do. Let me just get rid of the shower. Actually, let me give it to my, um, Cameron. Well, Cameron was the guy I was trying to buy from earlier. Cameron and Fragdia. I'm going to give this shit away to them. 
to increase their opinion because if they see you digging nice oh timber perfect come on hurry up oh I'm gonna drop this shit off crap I'm gonna shit my desk this is, this is why I keep saying always have at least one um space in your desk so you don't uh you can manage items I'm not going to be able to do this distraction. Actually, let me just eat the goddamn chicken. Forget the distraction. I don't need to do it. I'm not going to have enough intellect to make the stronger shovel. Alright, we don't want to miss evening roll call. Alright, let me take some of this shit and get rid of it. Oh, I have two razor blades. I don't need two razor blades. Alright. I'm gonna give this shit away. Let's see. Did they switch it to selling? Yes, they did. And he has a Kroger. And I'm totally buying that. Bingo! Now we can make a flimsy pickaxe. Come on. William and Nick. Alright! Tool handle, crowbar, and a duct tape makes a flimsy pickaxe. Perfect. Alright, let's pick up the desk, drop it, go down here, pick up the lightweight shovel, and let's dig. We'll dig one more space, and we'll drop the pickaxe and the shovel in the tunnel. Alright, one more. Drop. You can actually drop right there by the... Uh, you can actually drop on the, uh, the timber brace, but I don't like to do that because it's hard to see the items. Alright, so I'm going to put the desk back. And uh, I'll hide the dirt in an unoccupied desk, and we'll go to sleep. And that's it. All right, so we did pretty good. We got timber. If we get some more duct tape, we can make a better shovel and a better pickaxe. And ultimately, the goal is to make a multi-tool. Um, eventually, we're going to need to make cutters. And eventually, I'm going to have to get the keys so I can shut the generator off. But right now, we're concerned about expanding our tunnel and getting tools together to dig. So it's not really that big of a deal to get the keys now or the guard outfit or anything like that um but anyway that's it so i'm gonna end the day so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed um like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed my content and want to see more uh, i'll be posting uh part three of this video up very very soon and um hopefully we make some more progress towards our escape so thank you guys and goodbye